the first thing you need to do is get the VS Code Insiders. It should be available as a downloadable for Mac or Windows machines. Use that, get the VS Code. Once you have that, make sure you get GitHub Copilot installed and signed on. GitHub Copilot and VS Code Insiders gives you the option to have agent, edit, and ask as available options. So that's the main prerogative to have. Then you go ahead and set up a new folder for your project. In this case, I'm setting up a new folder called VS Code MCP. I'm opening it up and in that folder, you have to create another folder called .VS Code. You will use the .VS Code to set up your MCP settings. In .VS Code, you will set up a new file called mcp.json. This file is what you will be used to hold all your MCP settings. Let's go ahead and create that. And once this file is created, you could see a small button called Add Server pop up, which will be a self-managed service that allows you to install MCP servers. You can install MCP servers as Node, Python, or Docker images. Of good MCP tutorials out there and a link to a bunch of them. But quite simply, MCP is nothing but a standard of server setup that allows LLMs to detect and use tools that are not within its purview. For MCP servers that we are going to set up, we are going to be looking at a brilliant repo out there. I will link to this repo, but this repo has a lot of these servers cataloged. It contains servers by external people and also people from Anthropic. For our example, let's take a look at how we can install the GitHub MCP server and pick that from this repo that I'm linking here. We are going to be picking up GitHub MCP server install through the node interface. So from the GitHub MCP, we're picking the node instructions, picking the name of the node server installation and giving it in our VS code. Once we give that, it will ask you for a bunch of dialogue options right there. So you pick all of the things that are relevant to your setting of your MCP server. For GitHub, you have to generate a GitHub token and you can use that through your developer settings and set up a classic method of setting up your token. And once you set up your token, it will now allow you to like pick your scopes which in this case, I'm just going to do a temporary one and pick repos as my only scope. So it will allow me to now connect my GitHub Copilot to my GitHub repos, etc., through the MCP server. So once I've given the GitHub token right there, it is now set up my MCP server. I can go ahead and click it. All these MCP servers are running within the purview of the folder structure and the application that we're building. So as you can see, the MCP server is active and GitHub Copilot has some tools available to it. So I'm asking some simple questions about how many repos are in my organization. It is able to look at my details through my token and able to like answer those questions. I can look and do a lot more powerful operations like pull request, explain code, etc. The great thing about this is that all of these tools are available to you in the agent mode and they will be available to you based on the question you ask the system. This is only a small example of what you can do with these MCP servers. As you can see, the tools that are now available for my GitHub Copilot since I installed this GitHub MCP server are all included in that little tool symbol and show me all the options that I can use. So I can kind of use all of these commands at will through my copilot. So documentation, reviewing pull requests, asking you to even understand and say if the pull request is good and stuff, like you can do all of that.
file is always within the purview of your project. Now, let's say I want to start another project. I start it brand new again. I set up a new folder .vs code in there. I set up a new MCP .json. And as you can see, none of my previous servers are showing up there. So everything is within the purview of the application that we've built. MCP servers can also be accessed as web-based MCP servers that you've set up. But in this case, we're just using local servers. This mcp.json again starts the whole process and I can install brand new servers that are very relevant to the project.